ABC News. Malcolm Turnbull is under mounting pressure as he marks his first anniversary as Prime Minister. It's a year today since he toppled Tony Abbott. The milestone coincides with the launch of his bid for a plebiscite on same-sex marriage, but that already looks doomed to fail. Here's National Affairs correspondent Greg Jennett. Questions without notice. Malcolm Turnbull didn't have to write his yearly report card. This failure, this fizzer, this is the real Malcolm Turnbull. Yeah. Everyone was writing it for him. We have a great captain coach in the Prime Minister. Scores were given. The Turnbull government today, when we look at confidence in our economy, is 8% up on what it was a year ago. And on his own promise to give the nation the economic leadership it needs, he's declared mission accomplished. It needs clear leadership, and that is what we've provided. There are now 14 fewer Liberals than on that September night last year when Malcolm Turnbull snatched the leadership. But his slender margin didn't matter on the first anniversary. His eyes 5, nose 122. Labor helped the celebration with a gift, $6.3 billion in savings to patch up the budget bottom line. Then, the very next moment, abandoned him. Mr Speaker. A barren backbench behind him, the lonely journey towards a same-sex marriage plebiscite in February began. It is a very big moral issue. It is an issue of conscience. It's an argument for the people over the parliament. Respect their intelligence. Respect their civility. Respect their ability to have a discussion about this important matter and resolve it. No, I'm... I'm... But it's a hard sell, especially to Liberals like Andrew Hastie, who fear a yes vote might get up. I'm likely to abstain if it is successful. Andrew Hastie's fears seem unfounded. There's unlikely to be any plebiscite in February. Bill Shorten's parting shot as he boarded a plane to Canada for four days was to let it be known he'll recommend to caucus that Labor block the bill in the Senate. So a current Prime Minister would be unable to complete the work of a former. History will show that Mr Turnbull will rank with Sir Robert Menzies and the great John Howard as one of the great Australian Prime Ministers. 18 years in office for one and almost a dozen for the other. All lies before him. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.